Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Taurus Sun Moon Rising regarding your love life. What does Taurus need to know at this time regarding their love life? What love messages do you have for Taurus? What love messages do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to focus on in their love life? Okay, please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what does Taurus need to focus on in their love life? What does Taurus need to know in their love life? Okay, so let's see. We are starting with the Eight of Wands. Okay, so the Eight of Wands we have here is uh, arrows of love, somebody being swept off their feet, lots of excitement, sex and passion, swift action. This could also be um, communication, text, email, phone call. I would say travel by air, but due to the circumstances right now, I don't think so. Um, but it could be air mail, you know, email, text, phone call. Okay. Coming in quick, coming in soon from someone that loves you. All right, so communication. What else do we have? Could even be a visit. Okay, Four of Cups. Okay, so this is coming from someone that you thought was like uninterested. Somebody that was withdrawn. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing this two ways. Either someone that was withdrawn is now coming in and communicating with you quickly, so I feel you're going to get a, a message from them soon. Or it could be this person is going to reach out to you soon and you're going to be kind of uninterested or just wary of it because for those of you that have been waiting for this to come in, it's kind of like I waited this long and now you come in, so now I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Okay. Any other messages for Taurus regarding their love life? What they need to focus on? What's going on with this Eight of Wands and Four of Cups energy? Last shuffle, please, for Taurus. Any other messages? Okay, so that's that as far as the tarot goes. So let's see. Okay. So... Again, to recap, this is someone that's now quickly coming to communicate with you or visit you in a loving manner that was withdrawn before or that's how you're going to feel when they communicate with you. Okay, I'm feeling more it's, it's that this person was withdrawn before. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Taurus regarding their love life, please? Give us more messages here, clear and concise, regarding Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups for Taurus, please. What's going on? Why was this person withdrawn? Or why will Taurus, Taurus, be withdrawn? Please clarify this for Taurus's love life. Okay, so let's see. We have here Ascending. Transcending obstacles. Okay, so if they were withdrawn, I said, why were they withdrawn? Because they were transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay, so right now this person is trying to transcend obstacles. What are those obstacles? I don't know, but obstacles nonetheless. This could be something with um, maybe if they were in another relationship, maybe if um, 
They had work obstacles, family obstacles, um, health issues, however it resonates, but they're trying to transcend these obstacles so they can prepare for a new phase with you. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So it's stability and security and growth. I'm getting that this is finances. So they may have been working a lot, just trying to get their finances together to create that financial stability and security for themselves. So it's like, you know, they didn't have time to be in a relationship because they needed to focus on their finances. If they, you know, they have for whatever reasons, if they're taking care of a family or they have a child or something like that, they are the breadwinner, so they have to make sure that their finances are solid, so no time for reindeer games. I gotta work, you know? Okay, then we have boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Okay, so receiving what you need, progression, arriving. So that, in one aspect, relates to the Eight of Wands. You want that communication. You want to know what's going on. Why has this person in the past been withdrawn? Okay, you want to progress. So this, this, all this information and this person, this connection, this communication is going to be arriving towards you. Now, for those of you that it says moving on and closer, closure issues, excuse me, I feel that is the message for those of you that will be withdrawn to this person when they come in. You've kind of moved on already, and now you're just going to get closure from this communication with them, and then you're good. You're ready to move on. Okay, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So you and this person, like I said here, some of you may get together meeting and conversing, okay? So that clarifies the eight of wands. Some of you will be getting together. And then we have lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So, sudden change, however it resonates, whether it's you or this person feeling withdrawn. Something suddenly changed, somebody had an epiphany, going through a transformation. Okay, so you may feel this way now, but then once this person comes towards you and communicates or you see them face to face, you may not feel withdrawn anymore. You may then have like this um, surprise transformation that's like a sudden change. As soon as you saw them, suddenly all those feelings came rushing back. And now you're like, okay, well, I was ready to walk away, but now I see your face and like, how can I do that? You know, all the love and emotions can't, comes rushing back in. Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have for you, Taurus, from your person? What messages do we have for Taurus from their person, please? Regarding this love reading, the Eight of Wands and Four of Cups. What messages do we have for Taurus from their person? <clears throat> Shuffle. What messages do we have for Taurus from their person? Okay. Thank you. Okay. We have here healthy boundaries. Sexuality. Relationship healing. Okay. So I feel... With relationship healing and healthy boundaries, this person has been withdrawn from you because they have been trying to heal from a previous relationship that they may have been in that you weren't aware of. That could be the obstacles that they were transcending, like I had mentioned earlier. So they were creating healthy boundaries with you to heal from a previous relationship. But with sexuality, I feel that they're still attracted to you. Yeah, the shadow. So there was things hidden in the shadow that you're not aware of. Like I said, it could be that they were in a relationship with someone and then just healing from that. Or this could be uh, you being withdrawn from this person because maybe you were trying to keep a healthy boundary from them uh, because you were healing from a previous relationship that they were not aware of. Okay. And then we have here relaxation. So this is going to be a time where you guys can just like sit down, relax, and talk, okay? So let's see, what other messages do we have for Taurus regarding their love life and this reading?
Okay, expression. Somebody is getting ready to express themselves. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So this is either you or your person. I'm feeling more it's your person that's coming through finally with the, the love communication to explain to you why they've been withdrawn. Where, like I said, it's a person that was withdrawn. They may not explain that. They may just leave it hidden in the shadows, but they are ready to come through and express how they do truly feel that they do care about you. Okay, so let's pull some initial cards and see who are you dealing with. Who is your person, Taurus? Who is your person? So I have V here. So I'm getting like Vivian, Victor. I'm also getting Vivacious. Also Vivid is coming through. F. P. And W. So V. V, F, W. So this is somebody veteran of foreign war. Somebody that's... Uh, Military, maybe somebody that was disabled from the military, um, somebody that's in with the VFW. So I don't know if this relates to your person or maybe who they were in a relationship with. Um, the letter P. So VFWP, those are your initials, however it resonates. But that is all I have for you, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Peace and love. And, oh, I have, um, real quick, I have a current events... Uh, playlist. You want to check that out. I did some readings um, referring to current events that's going on. So go and check that out. Peace and love and I will see you in the next reading.